This is a call for an uprising. Welcome to today's show. The past week, I've been talking about cannibalism a bit. I've been talking about it pretty much since I started my channel and how they're going to normalize this. And that is why you see all these shows like Santa Clarita Diet, movie after movie about vampires, movie after movie about zombies. Zombies, you know, supposedly eat the flesh of its victims, eat the brains. There's a reason for all of this, right? And I talked about how in Russia, they're talking about Putin and all these people bathing in deer blood and how it makes them younger, it makes their skin younger. All it takes is a few stories to come out, right? To make people go, oh, boy, it can make me feel better. Oh, it can help my sex drive. Oh, I'm going to live five years longer. Oh, it can beat cancer. Okay, I'll trust whoever the source is and I'll start eating human meat because that's how dumb our society is. We believe, or not us, but the people out there believe whatever they're told, right? As if the government has their best interest at hand. As if the government isn't some type of secret satanic cabal, which it is. Now this story came out a few days ago and I waited to cover it because... I just get so sick talking about these people, dealing with these people. You know, when I do these videos on cannibalism, even people who are loyal subscribers to my channel are like, oh, you're out of your mind. That will never happen. And I'm just like, don't you see what they're presenting us with? Don't you see how mind control works? How little by little they just keep planting these stories in there about cannibalism. They don't talk about Kuru. They don't talk about the diseases that come from it. These people in the occult are cannibals, period cannibals all the stories you ever hear that come out when children actually out these people and these satanic sex rings they talk about how they were forced to eat flesh how these people eat babies and not just molest them and it sounds insane that's why people can't grasp it they go oh they eat babies i mean boy so this past week scientist richard dawkins suggested that we will be eating human meat grown in a lab. And that is a good thing because it'll help us eradicate the taboo against cannibalism. I kid you not. The stories out there from websites like Life Science, Live Science, headline, Would You Eat Human Meat Grown in a Lab? Here are the benefits of eating human meat, right? Biologists suggest growing human meat in labs for consumption. And that this could be an alternative to help feed the world. That we won't have people starving anymore. Because they'll be able to grow human meat and people will be able to consume it. Thus, they won't be starving. Do you see how they pass these things or get people on board with these things? Oh, well, we wouldn't be starving. People wouldn't be dying in third world countries. Hmm, maybe we should push this and allow this and have this happen. Oh, we don't have to, men won't be hunting animals anymore and the animals can live. And oh boy, interesting, right? It says, the story says it's enough to make anyone a vegetarian. Controversial scientist Richard Dawkins suggests that eating human meat created in the lab may help overcome the taboo against cannibalism. You wonder why there's a taboo against cannibalism, Richard? I mean, Boy, I know that you would like the taboo removed because you want to live the way that you live in secret. You want to live like that out in the open. You want to be able to go to McDonald's. Well, wait, you can go to McDonald's and actually get human flesh in a burger. But let's just say you actually went to a restaurant, a fancy restaurant somewhere. And instead of ordering the duck, like these elites, oh, I'll take duck. I'll have some caviar. Instead, they'll just say, hey, I'd like a, uh, a human liver and a little bit of brains on the side. That's how these people want to live. They don't want to live in secrecy anymore. He said he envisions human flesh becoming a form of, quote, clean meat, a product created using stem cells that could help feed the world without slaughtering any creatures. The renowned atheist made the comments on Twitter after posting an article about the benefits of clean meat. In his post, he said, Tissue culture, clean meat already in 2018. I've long been looking forward to this. What if human meat is grown? Could we overcome our taboo against cannibalism? An interesting test case for you. Consequentialist morality versus yuck reaction. Dawkins, the former Oxford professor for the public understanding of science, is a dedicated admirer of Charles Darwin. What a surprise. Regarding the Victorian pioneer of evolution as the man 
who explained everything we know about life. He revolutionized the theory of evolution with his 1976 book, The Selfish Gene. His latest comments were made in response to a news article in which one manufacturer claimed synthetic burgers could be on sale sooner than we think. I mean, can you believe this stuff? This is going on in our world. And people are just going to go, oh, what's the big deal? The FDA approves it. It's got to be okay, right? And they're not going to talk about Kuru and Parkinson's and all these diseases that these people get from eating flesh. It is forbidden to eat human flesh. God forbids it. Thus, they love it, right? Because they do everything opposite of what the Bible says. But could you imagine going to the grocery store and seeing this stuff? Because it's going to happen. Okay, I'm telling you, that is why they are putting shows out there like Santa Clarita Diet. That is why Kim Kardashian is coming front and center with the vampire facial. That is why these companies now are selling facials that have human blood in them. It is to normalize this stuff. And people go, oh, you're overreacting. Yeah, the next thing you know, it's going to be in a store and the people will still be saying, oh, you're overreacting. Because the FDA approved it. Yeah, well, guess what? The FDA approves all the chemicals that go into our body. The FDA is the most corrupt people out there other than the CIA, other than our own government. But they're all hand in hand, right? They're all a bunch of monsters, and then we're supposed to take their advice. Oh, the FDA recommends it. Okay, we better have it. Oh, the FDA says it's bad for you. Then it probably is really good for you if the FDA says it's bad. I mean, it's unbelievable. It says these burgers and other clean meats are created using stem cells from the muscle tissue of living livestock. The cells, which have the ability to regenerate and then cultured in a nutrient soup of sugars and minerals. I mean, this is just disgusting. There's nothing obviously natural about it. I mean, people are just like, well, it's bathing. The human meat is bathing in a cup of soup and minerals, so we should have the human burger. Meanwhile, Santa Clarita Diet, you know, the pictures and the images they use to promote their show all have, you know, fingers as French fries, a human heart and a hamburger. I mean, it's all right in front of our faces, folks. You know, people look at it, they take it and they go, well, it's, they're, they're just doing humor. It's funny. You know, it's a satire. It's sick, but it's funny. No, they're desensitizing you. Wake up. It says these cells are left to develop inside a bioreactor tank into skeletal muscle that can be harvested in just a few weeks. The CEO of the company, clean meat firm JUST, believes lab-made sausages, chicken nuggets, and others could be served in Asia and the U.S. before the end of 2018. Dawkins, who has previously claimed forcing religion on children could be compared to child abuse, tweeted, I've been looking forward to this. Of course you have. Let's put one and one together here. The guy who says, if parents are forcing religion, oh my goodness, so if a parent gives the son the Bible, oh, that's awful. The, the parents are forcing the Bible on the son, right? But when a parent dresses up their son in a dress, they're not forcing a gender on them. They're not trying to get them to be trans, right? Because they make that choice on their own. These people are such hypocrites, and it's not surprising that it's an atheist slash Satanist who is pushing forward and saying, I hope so. I hope that we, we finally have this so there won't be starving nations anymore. I mean, give me a break, pal. It says Dawkins followers were not taken by the idea. Dawkins, my pal, my buddy, taboos are generally things we do not want to get over for many ethical and moral reasons. So a bunch of his uh, subscribers on Twitter question it, but this is how they ease you in. You're not going to immediately react and accept it. It's like, you know, think about all the things that we've learned and gone on to accept. You think when Facebook came, first came out, everybody was saying how gay it was. I don't want to be on that. How stupid. Now, if you're not on it, you're considered weird, right? Oh, you don't have it. What's wrong with you, man? Everything at first is going to have a pushback. It's just the element of, you don't know what it is. You don't know, you know, is it okay? Is it safe? Ooh, it sounds scary. And then the next thing you know, they roll out celebrities eating human flesh burgers and they continue pumping out shows like Santa Clarita Diet and people will be on board. That's how it works. Okay. And he goes on to state in this article talking about, let me just find the quote, about the benefits, which is just absolutely unbelievable. It says Dawkins was practically drooling, but it wasn't over the food. He said, what if human meat is grown? Could we overcome the taboo against cannibalism? And then goes on to state, 
that people who are having a yuck reaction and that's not the right reaction to have. People need to be open to the idea because doing this, he can foresee a world where there is no more starvation. And people, you know, that's one of the things they'll use, right? People will go, oh, well, that is a beneficial. That is great. You know, now people won't starve. Meanwhile, you got celebrities who are telling you that they're philanthropists, you know, going, oh, I care about charity. We care about people so much. They're driving $500,000 cars. They got a house filled with Bentleys inside. And these people in other countries starve and they pretend like they care. They want us to live like them. Okay. All this stuff. They want to lead as many souls to hell as possible. Cannibalism is going to become normal. And it could just start as something as simple as this, right? Oh, artificial human meat. Now at the grocery store. Then what? Then what? Then what? Look how fast all this stuff's going on. You know, look where we're at now. Two years ago when I started this, if I told you that parents were losing custody of their kids, if the five-year-old decided it wanted a gender change and the parents just said no, that the parents could be taken, the kid could be taken away from the parents. I would have said you're insane. There's no way people would allow that. That's too extreme. Two years later, that's going on. So I wouldn't be surprised a year from now, like they're saying, the end of 2018, if this is going on, because everybody's been indoctrinated with this stuff for years. Everybody's obsessed with the walking dead. Everybody's obsessed with vampires and twilight and all this stuff. And the theme of all these shows is cannibalism, you know, and they're like, oh, I don't watch it for that. You know, I watch it because it's cool and it's exciting. Meanwhile, they're conditioning you for all this stuff. It's unbelievable. People, you know, want to be zombies, right? They do all this stuff with, oh, become your own zombie, zombie this, zombie that. And people just think it's all for good fun. And it's unbelievable how they just set everybody up and everybody follows in like a bunch of dominoes being wait, waiting to be knocked down one by one. So this is Richard Dawkins coming out talking about how hopefully by the end of the year we're eating human flesh and you can find a flesh burger at the supermarket. Amazing folk. Amazing stuff, right, folks? I mean, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I'm losing my mind. I really am. Stuff is insane what's going on. It's insane how stupid of a society we live in. I mean, people are just so dumb. It's, is it even worth trying to wake people up anymore at this point? I mean, you're going to have human flesh burgers in the grocery store. And people are going to be on board with it. It's amazing. It really is. I thank all of you for listening to today's show. God bless all of you and your families.